Next matchup, it is going to be Minnesota squaring off with Illinois, 3.30 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, the Gophers are the seven-point favorite on the road, total 61 and a hook. Illinois is plus 215 on the money line. Now, the Illini covered against Purdue this past week in a very solid effort. They were catching 10 and lost by just a touchdown, and that lone cover on the season was also played on their home field. Now, Illinois has had great success on the ground through two contests, 154 yards a game on the ground they're averaging already. Their two leading rushers are both uh, averaging over 4.7 yards a carry. And, uh, you know, after establishing a sound run game, if they can, in this one, if the Illini want to throw it deep, wide receiver Brian Hightower is literally averaging 25 yards of reception along with a touchdown. So kind of a home run hitter there uh, in Hightower. Now they're taking on a Minnesota team who's Looked horrible in 2020, 0-2 to, uh, to, to start the season, 94 total points they've given up in those contests, and sadly enough, one of those games was against Maryland. Uh, Maryland, not that great of a program, and uh, so, you know, that's uh, not good. But anyway, they gave up 45 to a bad Maryland team, 49 to Michigan uh, in the opener. They're officially allowing 47 points a game through two contests, and after a really nice 2019 campaign, Quarterback Tanner Morgan has looked lackluster, to say the least. He's completing just 60% of his passes, and he's averaging just a buck 93 a game through the air. Now, uh, Morgan's only thrown two touchdowns, and he's been sacked six times. And uh, as good as wide receiver Rashad Bateman's looked in certain spots, he's yet to catch a touchdown pass going into their third game as well. Now, the Gophers have failed to cover the number in five out of their last six, dating back to last season. When it comes to the number in this one, now total-wise, Minnesota's gone 2-0 to the over thus far, 1-0 to the over when traveling. Meanwhile, Illinois' season opener with Wisconsin got over the line themselves. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward yet another underdog getting the job done against the number. Give me the underdog, Illinois fighting a line I plus 7. And the under, I'm sorry, and the over 61 and a half in that ball game. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Rutgers, Ohio State, and that's going to be a 7.30 p.m. Eastern start time. The Buckeyes are laying 38 at home, total 64 and a half. Ohio State's two.